All right, guys, welcome back to Ultimate PSUs and welcome to the much anticipated fan curve control video. Now, this video will allow you to finally have a quiet PC while reducing your temperature at the same time and actually slightly increasing the performance as well. Now, for this video, we're going to be using the MSI Afterburner software, especially because we use that in all of our undervolting tutorial and most of the requests for this video came from the undervolting tutorial. Now, little disclaimer, if you haven't seen the undervolting tutorial, please go look at them. I have one for every GPU in the market. And if you do that, your GPU will instantly be quieter and the fan will run quieter because it will consume less power while keeping the same performance or actually increasing a bit. But anyway, let's get started. So link to Afterburner will be down below. When you first open Afterburner, you want to select your actual graphic card. So as you can see, this one is my integrated graphic card, which is not uh, my graphic card. It's just the processor graphic card. And as you can see, it's going to like uh, 4 million degrees because it's bugged. So you want to go here and select your actual graphic card right there. Now, as you can see now, my fan speed control slider is enabled. So now I can adjust the fan speed. Now you want to go onto settings right here, and then you want to go to fan right there. Once you're into fan, you want to enable software control of the fan. Okay. Now here we have a check that's called firmware control mode. Now what this is, is this will save your profile into the graphic card. However, this will not work for every graphic card, but if you want to use this, you can actually not run Afterburner after this thing. So it's going to be useful. So try to enable it, give it a shot. But first of all, we're going to do it as if you didn't have that. Okay, so actual tutorial. Now, you know, I usually like to give you a preset and then to tell you how to find your own perfect spot. But for this tutorial, please bear with me. It's going to be slightly longer, but not too much, but it's better if you find your own perfect spot. Okay. So first thing you want to do is go over the graph and double click with the left click on the mouse. Now the graph will change like this. Now this is not just a graphic thing. This is how the fan will behave. So as you can see on the X axis, we have the temperature on the Y axis. We have the fan speed velocity percentage, right? Now, what this means is that between one point and the other, the fan speed will stay flat. Now, what really is annoying and what really makes you notice how fast the fan speed is going is not actually the speed itself. It's the variation in speed. Okay. So by having the fan speed at a constant rate, you will notice it less. It will be much less annoying. Okay. Now what we want to do is just find three points, one, two, and three, which will define three states of your card. Okay. So listen to me very closely. Then I will also give you a preset. Okay. First step is idle. So when you're not doing much at all, how do you want your fan speed to behave? So you might want to have this completely fanless. Now this line, this dotted line is the lowest possible fan speed of your graphic card. So I do recommend in idle, just drop it to the minimum possible. Okay. As you can see, I cannot go lower. Well, I can, but it's not really working. So I would recommend putting it there. I don't recommend running your card fanless actually. Uh, there is a debate, but I don't. I recommend around 30% fan speed in idle. Okay, so 30, first point. Now, the second point is going to be a light load. So, for example, a game with VSync on, where you don't really use your graphic card. So, this you have to test out. But I find that usually around 50 is a very good point. Now, how do you test this one out? Well, after you set it, you just load the game and you see where your fan speed stays at. Now, what you want to find is a point that keeps your card from overheating, because if it overheats, the temperature goes up and you will jump to the next point. So if you want to be extra sure, I recommend putting it to 60. 60 is never too loud. So which temperature do we assign for the 60% fan speed? I usually recommend 50 degrees. Actually, I do recommend 55 degrees because it's when you can be rest assured that you are actually under load. Okay. So around 55. 
at 60% is my actual recommendation. But this will vary from card to card because 60% for one fan might be really loud and might be really silent for another fan. So you might want to check on that. Now, the next point we want to choose is the actual full load temperature. Now, full load, you can expect your GPU to run from 70 to 80 degrees. Okay, so we want to grab the slider, bring it to 70. And I usually do recommend around 80% fan speed, but on some cards, this is extremely loud. So if it gets extremely loud on your card, you might want to drop it to 75, but I will recommend 80 for this RTX 4070 Ti I'm using. Now, the last point, top point, is when your card is overheating. So you should not have your card run at 100% fan speed. It should only go there if you're overheating. So I like to put it at around 90 degrees, as you can see, but even a bit less, actually uh, around 88 degrees is the maximum I want my graphic card to go at. So this is our actual fan speed. However, we can actually uh, fine tune it a bit more. So this is what I would recommend for most people. This is very segmented. So what you can do is you can actually move your point a bit and basically have a softer point at around, I'd say, 50 degrees and 50% fan speed, and then at 55, you get to 60 degrees, if that makes sense. However, this is it for today. Then again, you might wanna try the firmware control mode. If this doesn't work, you will need to have Afterburner run with Windows. So how do you do that? You do apply, you do okay, you go into settings, and you set Afterburner to start with Windows and start minimized. And this is it for today's video. It was a bit longer, but I hope it wasn't too boring. And if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. If it's not working, please drop a comment. I will help you out. And check out my other videos. I also do interesting builds and other stuff on the channel. So see you in the next one, guys. Bye.